Uh, we're back here again with Receiver 2. Uh, they just launched a new update for Halloween by the looks of it. And I was urged to play it. Because uh, apparently it's it's it does a lot. And I didn't want to spoil myself on what it actually does. Because, uh, you know, I just want to see what it is for myself. But... Uh, I did look on the community forums just to make sure that it was the actual update. It wasn't like a patch they uh, fixed in. And I did see people going a bit crazy on the community forums. So, I'm guessing it's in. Whatever is they added. And honestly, I've just been looking for more of an excuse to play this game again anyway. Funny gun received bullet into chamber game. But yeah, I just, I've honestly just wanted to play more of this game. Because uh, the last time I played it was in April when it first came out and after I beat it. I will say also as well, the um, third receiver stream I did, one of my favorite streams I've ever done. Like just straight up, I adore that stream. Primarily the last level. The last level is incredible in, in receiver 2. Primarily my run. Like, not like put myself on a high pedestal, but my run on that was insane and crazy. Play the last level for Nostalgia. We're not playing this for nostalgia, we're playing this because there was a new update. And apparently something pretty big got added. That... People... or that I was urged to, to check out. Now, I don't remember how to play this game. Uh, that's why my stream says, be easy on me, I'm rusty. Because, frankly, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh... I'm glad that I remember that. I'm glad I remember that. So I do remember the controls very vaguely. It'll take me a little while. I probably can't clear the jams. But I am a bit scared. Because I know what Wolfire like. I'm a bit afraid to see what they've added to this game. This game is already pretty scary, by the way. Like, this is a pretty... Just in terms of tension. But... I'm a You only played this game, like, once since it came out. No, I played it three times. On stream, I completed it. Uh, that's that's way too loud, I think. Let me turn it down a bit. Yeah, I just I, I'm I'm really really nervous to see what they added. I should maybe put my light away. So I do remember. You have to play this game super careful. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the over there around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a... <laughs> You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By I really should be more careful than this. I'm so rusty, you will dude. Drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed these tapes, you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. Ooh. I think I missed. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. Tapes is part of this technique. You must listen to them to advance. So how do you keep bullets again? It's V, right? No, it's G. How do you eject? That's that one. That's that one. That's that. Oh. And you press G to maintain bullets. Okay. Because remember, you can uh, launch all your bullets out and still grab them while they're falling, so. Q. 
Give me those bullets. Thank you. So far, it's just receiver two. So far, I'm not seeing anything. Ooh. I have the uncanny urge to shoot that. Like I said, there was a Halloween update. Welcome to the cult receiver. Man, I really want to shoot that. I think you should shoot it. <laughs> being, <laughs> being coaxed into shooting something. Uh, gave me bullets by the looks of it. Just another way of getting bullets. That's good. Unless that activates something. Guarantee that probably just activated something. Your bullets do nice. Shit. I ran too far. Sprinting's a bit wonky in this game in terms of you have to kind of get used to it. You go a bit too uh, too much further than you expect. Whoa! Okay. I'm getting a bit too shaky with my aim already. Okay. Disabled. Oh. There we go. Option to swap to a more traditional shift to run deal if you like. I actually do have shift to run on. Disordered thoughts, ideas have weight and potential. They exist in a So I did activate it. The uh, shift to run. That's a really bad position for. Mental exercises will Turret. That's actually extremely bad. Unbreakable chain to harness your will. I think I'm actually going to try and shoot it, because uh, if I try and get too close... Actually, I can probably use this as cover. Yeah. Get a better, closer angle. <laughs> Missed. Bold 10 sights are so good. They're very good. Very nice. Very clean. This... Wait... Good. I think maybe I should jump for it. Like that. Yep. And I can probably get past this without actually doing any combat. The first thing is to shoot the ammo at the long range and then shoot the battery when close. I primarily like to shoot the lights. Just to make sure it can't see me. That was my strat when I initially played. Uh, and then it's Z, V. There we go. Was I was I completely out? Wow, I had all my bullets consumed. I wasn't even counting. Wow, Rusty's freak, dude. Oh, there it is. A firearm is simple in <clears> some ways, <throat> deceptively complex in others but always dangerous. Gun training anchors the mind in the moment by apprehending the lethality of the tool and focusing on the moment to moment use, a receiver is able to strengthen the mind body link. Like with ideas, objects in the physical reality vary in their utility. Although some thoughts and tools are extremely dangerous, we don't arbitrarily limit what we can mm. use. Rather, we strive to better understand ourselves and our environment so that we may safely handle even the most dangerous situations. Probably, I would say the most dangerous rooms in these ga in this game. Sorry, these games. In this game. Oh, wow. Oh, well, that's the one I shot. Right. But I would say probably the most dangerous room in this game is this one here. The, uh, the scaffoldings. The two pairs. Primarily because there is so many angles you can get spotted from, and you don't have enough time to ascertain where. 
This is probably where I've died the most. So I always try and be extra careful. So I am shooting those willy nilly, just fine. I mean, they seem to just give me bullets. That's all they seem to do. As I'm, I'm hoping that's all they do. Good shot receiver. Thank you. Oh, shit. Hmm. It's tough to run from flying drones and scaffolds too. I've done it like once and it was pretty intense, but yeah, it is really difficult. I still would definitely say scaffolding is just the hardest. For me, the most dangerous room is the hospital. Those are like a close set. Basically, any room where you have a couple dozen different ways of being spotted from kind of becomes really difficult. I think there's two of them in here. So I'm seeing two. No, I'm seeing one light. Okay. Actually, I maybe should have reloaded. I'm wondering if I should expect this new addition. Oh, okay, it's up there. Okay, then we can get a good angle on it. Ooh. Like a really good angle. What's the highest rank you've reached so far? I've beaten the game. I beat it in uh, in April. Like, when it first came out. Oh, well, he's not happy about it. Where is that tape? There it is. The mind kill degrades the condition of firearms, making them much more likely to malfunction. Oh, I, uh... You can clear most malfunctions by tapping the magazine to make sure it's... Okay, so I might negligent just charge here. And then, bang, you're ready to go. No, okay. Tap, rack, bang. I was just gearing you guys up for some, some misplay. So I didn't know if I remembered how to do that. I misunderstood what you were saying when I got into the stream. I thought you were checking the game up but familiar with the original. Uh, no, but I have, I, have, I have actively played both. But I have beaten the, 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 the second game. It was a really, really good stream, a pair of streams. I was, as I was saying at the start of the uh, the stream, I think the, I think this is, there's one up there, but my third receiver two stream. Oh, oh, no. oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's get the shit out of me. <laughs> Dude, I'm so on edge. I've been geared up uh, to expect something fucking wild in this, uh, in this update. I don't, I maybe think it's not going to happen uh, in the first level. But I'm not sure. Another update, they made the cult single action army go off when you walk around with a loaded chamber and the hammer down. Jesus. I'm going to gently suggest you shoot more pumpkins before picking up that last tape. We are on... Gently suggest... I feel like I'm being baited here. No, I know I'm being baited. I'm going to walk into the strap. There are no drones on the first floor. Okay. What? What in fucking God's name is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What? He disappeared. I don't know where- I didn't hear where he went because I was shooting.
What is this? I think I'm shooting the wrong part. Or I killed it. I maybe just killed it. No, I didn't kill it. I'm shooting the wrong part. Uh, reload. Wrong part or wrong time? Yo. I think, like, this is, like, the best place to fight this dude. He is shuffling somewhere. Wrong part or wrong time. Do I have to shoot him just as he's leaving? Is that when he's vulnerable? No? Okay. Work a bit further. Let me try shooting the bottom part. It seems that every part I shoot, he just disappears. Do I have to be quicker? Maybe he doesn't die. I'm thinking maybe he doesn't die, and maybe you just have to shoot him to make sure he doesn't kill you. I don't know where he went. Dude, he has a head! It looks towards me! Watch for the light, the color it does. Oh. I did see it go red at some point. I don't know if red is the key. Red might not be the key. It might be some other color, like a purple or something. Man, I, I'm so sketchy with this. It's, um... It made a noise. I almost want to get killed by it just to see. Go on. Keep going. Man, how do I kill this thing? Yo, yo, wow. Make a friend, give it a hug. Jeez, my god, I shit myself. <laughs> I knew I had to wait first try what a chop. It was just this thing, just like, dude, went on my face. I was like, fucking fire, dude, <laughs> unload. Okay, so that's what you gotta do. It's a timing thing. He he goes to hit you. Nice reflex shot. Thank you, Wolfire Games. I'm just really glad to see you here. You look to help no for him, kind of fun to- I- I just did the stupid. <laughs> I tried to press tab to go into the menu. Whoops! Don't look at that. No litmus charge. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, where are they? Help. Stalker entity. Little is known about this recent dis recently discovered a highly dangerous entity. There are almost no available records due to an extremely low encounter survival rate. Some reports are contradictory, others seem fanciful. What we do know is that the stalker entity is summoned or manifested to the uh, to the dreaming by a slower process than other threat agents. For some time it may appear ethereal, ghostly even, before materializing fully. Eventually, after entering an attack-ready state, it teleports itself into striking distance, scurrying its victim if the attack is successful. It generally is. Strategies and weaknesses. While the stalker entity wasn't hasn't fully uh, manifested yet, it will chase its prey no matter where the intended victim goes. The entity is impervious to harm in this state, presumably because it hasn't manifested completely yet. But conversely, can't do harm until it's fully formed. 
Eventually, it will manifest and ready itself to strike. This state can be recognized by some of its lights turning an ominous red color. Once it has done so, it will teleport right next to its intended victim. At that moment, where it is, there is a split second of Trinity window in which receivers can counterattack. Now fully manifested, the stalking entity can be harmed in traditional ways. Some reports indicate that it is not possible to flee an encounter with this entity. It will keep stalking its prey, eventually leading to an attack. In the final moments of an encounter, it somehow impairs its victim's ability to move. Only way to defeat it is to destroy it first. So it's like gung-ho. You, you're both drawing at the right time. And you have to draw faster than they do. I think I'm also going to destroy this one. This one here. It's at a really awkward, uh, awkward place. So, I'm assuming that the stalking entity is now uh, in the game world proper. When confronting the, the threat, a receiver must always remain calm. Most people panic under pressure and, and, and shoot before properly aiming. Remember that it's better to fire one shot that hits than ten shots that miss. Very... Very accurate tape. Especially to what just happened. Shroba Deadly Achievement Unlocked. Just spawned by pumpkins. So if I want to fight, I have to fall, I have to fight pumpkins. That's fine. I, I'm fine with that. What a what a really cool addition, actually. I'm so glad I didn't uh, get spoiled. I'm so glad uh, I actually get to play it. I probably wasn't going to play Receiver 2 today. But I got a heads up. Cool. We have some access to our magazine. That's still quite a lot of shots. That's, that's more than I, I'm, I'm used to. Cool. <clears throat> the round ain't chambered. Is it not? Mm, it looks chambered to me. Okay, now it is. I might have accidentally racked it, I'm not sure. Turn off my light, I don't need it. Alright, so I guess we just play through the game, shoot some pumpkins, and then fight their stalker. See if we can get it done. I do want to see what it's like when it kills me. I'm guessing it's just like an instant, like, if you don't shoot in that instant, you're dead. It stabs you, you go down. But, I am curious. Right, let's go this way, this way looks easier. The question is, does it spawn every five or every so often? <clears throat> Honestly, it would actually be really cool if you could just like go in the options menu and say like stalker. The same way with the um, the terror types. If you could just put like a, an option for it, like once you've beaten it once, it would have been really cool. Like putting it in an options menu, just like tag it on, like it's it spawns every so often and you uh you have to deal with it that might be something they might add uh after i do hope for some proper integration in a future build yeah once everyone's been like once everyone's seen it you know experienced it then they can go about and then put it in like the options menu it's like do you want to have this enemy on oh a new mag Honestly, I actually don't ever really use mags. Those fuckers remind me of an enemy from a game Warframe. They're called Sentience. Design the design over those give me or it's design give me those vibes. Dude, in this area though? Oh my god. That shit would be that would be Together, shit and bricks, dude. We have laid the foundation. You have shown great potential, but the potential is yet to be realized. We have <clears> the <throat> message. Can you hear it? There is an insidious force. Give me a second. Your media, weakening the mind and causing widespread dysfunction. So, 
Chat was maybe in the wrong place. We call this the That's fine. We have developed a technique called mind tech to combat this threat. A new set of tapes has been issued to train and to prepare you. Can I just say, uh, whoever did the voice acting on these tapes, absolute kudos. They're insanely engaging. Like, I just, I could genuinely pop on those for like an hour and a half and just listen to it while I draw. They are so cathartic, so just really nice. Leo Wiggins of Wolfire, he did good. Super duper good stuff. That's mentioned just really nicely informative as well. Leo is a master. Oh. This is a oh, is it going it's going back and forth. It's not going full 360, right? No, it's going full 360. We can probably get it, but it's pretty obscured. It's a really hard shot. Now the question is, should I put that in the thumbnail for this VOD? I'm not sure. Maybe a, a tease of it. Oh, there's two. There's a second one over there. Barely noticed it. I probably would have walked into that. There is a very, very small window where I can actually shoot its light. I think I'm going to try and go for it. Actually, I should probably... I'll do that instead. Okay. Getting closer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. If you can't get a good shot off, usually it's best to get in closer somehow. There's a another one, maybe? You have to be a lot closer to the bullets now. I think they maybe changed that. I'm not sure. Ooh. Come on, let's do it. It responds in a very dangerous situation. All the better, honestly. Dealing with fear is a necessary skill to combat the threat. Through mind tech, you focus your mind's eye on your fear. The fear is heavy, faceted, and black like obsidian. This fear can be a benefit, or it can be a poison, but it can't be avoided. I will say, it must it's actually really great that it gives that you way. bullets. Mind it does give you an incentive to use it. Tools to engage with this fear. Through mind tech, you change yourself to influence your environment to reduce. Well, if I beats the fear, the threat too. <laughs> control of emotions comes from control. Were you here for the for the thing, Devon? Results. From Did you see the thing? Ideas. So here's a, a tip. If you're uh, just starting to, you missed it because I was talking about your room setup with fam. Mm. Well, uh, it, it will be, it'd definitely be worth going back and seeing because I, I shit myself. Quite intensely. Jump scare. There you go, that's it. Someone clipped it for you. Uh, I kind of want to go into the bottom floor, but I'm not sure. I don't like this setup. I heard a scream was being very serious. Got it. Easy shot. So I was about to say, if you're struggling with this game and it's uh, primarily the weapon sheathing mechanic where, like people complain about this a lot, where you have to hold down the uh, the button to make sure you, uh, like that, so you don't do that. So I accidentally spammed it. But yeah, that will happen if you do it not good. I don't think it spawned yet. Yeah, in order to avoid that, the thing that I do, which I think really, really helps, and it's here, okay. Oh. 
I'm going somewhere more open. Dude, oh my god, I can't see him. Shit, I can't see him. Oh no, he's gonna get me. Jesus Christ. <sighs> okay. What a cool design, by the way. Excellent design. He is so creepy. What, when people make creepy enemies in... Oh. When people try and make creepy enemies, they usually miss out on the sound design. And, like, the sound design on him is excellent. Like, the, the shuffling he does around... It is terrifying. Ooh, I missed. I was too high. That seems to be a, a, like a trend. I'm shooting way too high. Again, I'm shooting too high. I need to get closer. <clears throat> yeah, if you're having a hard time with the sheathing mechanic, the biggest tip I can give is to complete your next action before you unhold the sheath. So for example, I hold tab, put in bullets, unhold tab, hold tab, put in the magazine, unhold tab. So I always make sure that One tool just get that into your uh is called the anti power. I'm gonna wait for your hand to stop shaking for aiming. Throws off your aim. Yeah. Atmosphere of terror and anxiety around trivial risks, providing a suitable environment for them to inject fixes for these non problems. Uh, invariably, the actual purpose of these solutions is to create new issues that were worse than the initial situation. Oh shit. By associating the search for solutions with new problems, gonna wait. the mind becomes locked in a hopeless state with no clear path forward. We have developed a mind attack for people trapped in this anti-pattern. Like a hall of mirrors, this construct is based on illusions and is easily shattered. Imagine that you have changed your mind about something you would never doubt. Act like you believe this new truth for an hour, a day. A I just get so caught up in these tapes. Do things make more sense. This is the feeling of breaking free. Yeah. If you're if you're not going to put on the safety every time you go to holster, holding the uh, tab button until you finish your next action is probably the easiest way to build it into your muscle memory. Because you, you kind of just build it in where you're like, every time I press tab, I hold it. 100%. Always complete your next action. Oh, this is bad. That's a really, it's a really bad spot, actually. Uh, I might go on the upper floor, see if I get an advantage there instead. Anytime there's like a massive bunch of stairs in between me and the, uh, that's even worse. I probably almost died to that. I can probably run from that. I think I can run. Yep. But I can't run from that. Ah. Yep. Caught a bad cycle. That's fine. But a bit too hasty. Probably wouldn't bear to go down and then uh, I can run famous receiver last words. Desert Eagle! Also, I really like this um, loading screen they added. This wasn't in the game when the game first came out. The whole uh, like telling you what gun you get. We loaded. We are loaded. Put away the flashlight. We don't need it. Okay. We just got one bullet. Unlucky, but we didn't uh, use up more than that, so we're fine. Man, honestly, this this game. What a what a masterpiece. Honestly, I think this game is incredible. Definitely on like my top five of the year. Not, not, and uh, that's kind of unfair because not really much has come out this year. To be fair, 
But like top five, top three, this is definitely on there. Because I really wasn't expecting it to be this good. I also wasn't expecting it to just be so refined in terms of being like, it's, it is the original receiver, but it's just more and it's, it's bigger. It's, it's more in depth. It's got more to it. It's, it's not just like a reimagining that went slightly too far or it, it's its own thing, uh, refined, which just, it's so nice. I, I, I kind of almost feel like there's no real reason to play the original receiver after this one. Oh. And then you get too caught up in talking. We really appreciate that, thanks. Honestly, glad to say it. This, this game is a joy. Yeah, definitely try not to get too caught up in talking if you're streaming it. If you get too caught up, you'll end up just autopiloting and, and then run straight into a turret like that. Dude, the discipline you needed to have in the final level of this game is crazy. It definitely wasn't one of my most interesting streams, I would say. In terms of visually, because a lot of it was me just standing around thinking. And that's, that's kind of what I love about it. Like, it, it's about the situation you're in. Not the, um, the gunplay. Where is this tape? Uh, it's in here somewhere. I'll wait for him to come over. It's in here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't pick it up. Control your breathing as you approach the door, slowly slicing the pie as you go. Kind of imagine what the drawing board of this game's plot is. Make a realistic gun scene with a psychedelic inducing audio. Rush. See everything. Focus beyond that front sight. Let your body aim for you. Breathe. Corner's oh. clear. It's time to choose a direction. Left or right. Which way lies victory? Which way death? Only one way to find out. Breathe. Don't dawdle in the doorway. You're a silhouette, and that's where the guns are aimed. And sweep the room smoothly to encompass the whole space. It's a difficult thing, but practice makes perfect. Slow is smooth. Smooth is fast. Also, these, again, just gushing over these tapes, these tapes really prime you excellently for the game. In terms of, like, you can kind of force your way through the first three levels or so. Like, you can basically just kind of bum rush your way through, kind of go like, oh, shoot the ones that are in front of me, blah, 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 blah. But, like, what the tapes really anchor you for is, like, the final two levels. And that's where you really need to take what they're saying into consideration. They're not just fluff. They're actual, like, this is what you should be doing. And if you're not doing it, you're probably going to die, unless you're excruciatingly lucky. And your objective is entirely to eliminate luck. Like, a ton of stuff you learn and a ton of in-depth gameplay you learn, you get in, like, four or five hours of gameplay from the, this game's story mode. And that's if you do die a couple times. If you um, get through it relatively quickly, you can probably do it in about two or two or three hours. Probably two if you're, if you're really rushing it. We make receiver a genre. I honestly want more games where you have to do a little bit more with, uh, with uh, reloading. Not to mention just the whole atmosphere and the whole... While some concepts are useful, others are the exact opposite. These terminating thoughts take complex and useful ideas and turn them into a simplistic cliché that is as incorrect as it is useless. Oh, no. The appeal of these thoughts is that they give a false feeling of certainty and authority. But they block true mental development. The functional mind questions okay. and observes. It looks inward at the form of ideas applied in the mind as well as outward in the world. I think we're safe on this floor. It views uncertainty as the twin sibling of curiosity. 
the dead mind is constructed of terminating thoughts. Okay. We're fine. There is no room for feelings beyond a thin, fragile mockery of self-satisfaction. Personality is replaced with rote, checkbox ticking behavior and reactivity. <laughs> Human interaction becomes a grotesque parody where anything that doesn't fall neatly into a simplistic taxonomy of behavior gets ignored or assaulted. This causes a person to become less and less until ultimately they vanish. Man, I just can't uh, make myself talk during the tapes. They're so good. Listen to them again and again, dude. We won't get spotted from this, right? We might. Oh, that's the problem. We might get spotted. Uh, he might shoot us. You ever thought you want a gun some with a huge meaning behind it in a way of cults and mysterious otherworldly threats? The, um, in-depth gun mechanics don't fit- I think we can block ourselves from this. Probably. But the in-depth gun mechanics this game has doesn't fit every game. But, like, taking a little bit of it would be cool. Like, imagine if you had to press- or you had to, um... For example, if you're going by a game like Call of Duty, where you press one button to reload, make that like two or three buttons where, you know, you put the mag in at the right time, you have to then cycle it with the same button. Like, just a, like bring in a little bit of it. It's kind of like what Gears of War did back in, uh, well, Gears of War, where pressing the reload button at the right time a second time resulted in a faster reload. Why was I... What the hell? I got real freaked out for a second. Then I started getting really slow. And I I was like, there's a threat. There's a threat here. Something's stopping me from moving. And I thought it was the um, the stalker. Because I, I know that they stop you from moving. Make sure you notice the cheats uh, movies and other games do with guns as well. Media literacy. Yeah. No, oh, wrong time. I don't have a, a window to see when he's over. I just gotta internally time it. Oh, there we go. I did have a window. It's the his light on this. That's also really good. If you can notice, like, small little pieces of their light going on the geometry, you can know exactly the state of every enemy. They're rarely placed in positions where you can't tell what's going on, which is so nice. Okay, stop aiming down. I kind of want to go for that shot because I feel like going down here will be dangerous. There is a pumpkin there. I think he will see me, but we will run. Yeah. As long as you're fast about it, and as long as you're confident, you're fine. <clears throat> I think I might take a pause shot from him from up here. I mean, it's like, it's like an, oh, it's like an easy shot, you know? Has he spawned? He has spawned. He's here. He's here. He's here. Now the question is, he has to spawn somewhere where I can see him. Can't see him. I'm gonna prepare. Oh, no, there he is. Okay. He's still he's still yellow. We're fine. No panic. Still yellow. Perfectly fine. How do you deal with this enemy? You don't understand too much. You have to wait for him to turn red. When he turns red, he is about to kill you. You gotta kill him before he kills you. There's no other way to stop him. It's like a like a uh, a drawing match. I don't know. I don't think. I think he might be coming. No. Where did he go? 
Dude, where did he go? Oh, Jesus. There's a secret other way to kill the entity. Is there? Oh, he's going. <sighs> One bullet anywhere, yeah. It's uh, like you know, like a draw match. I keep saying that in the wrong way. It, you know, like like cowboy draw movies, After and you, you have to pull out the gun faster than the other person. A study concluded that only a quarter of American soldiers were willing to line up their sights on a human target. Quick draw. That's it. No. Thank you. To combat this problem, I'm bad with words, apparently. Ways to dampen our natural aversion to killing one another. They replaced bullseye targets with human silhouettes. Uh, made training a duel. conditions yeah. more similar to actual combat. It's basically a duel between you and that, that entity. Personal responsibility for killing it. After enough training, you can eventually learn to stop seeing people. I think I stopped him from moving, yeah. Just see silhouette targets everywhere. Even in the mirror. <clears throat> There's a couple new options in the patch too. Hurt messages and flinching. I usually like to keep a... Uh, or, well, I said usually, but... I think I would probably like to keep those messages on. Primarily because they usually appear so lit infrequently that they're more like a... Like, oh, duh. Yeah, I forgot. Like... My brain lapsed for a second, and I completely forgot that that was a uh, mechanic. Like, the most accurate one, or the most prominent one, is glass. I usually forget that one. If I'm in the middle of talking, I'll probably forget about glass. For me, it's the one about shining the flashlight on enemies, because it's pretty intrusive, because it blocks your damn sights. That's typically why I always, um, if you get hurt by glass or falling, I know because I got hurt. Yeah. I suppose in that case, it probably is most valuable on, uh, enemies seeing you with flashlights. Just a reminder that you probably shouldn't. That's why I don't have my flashlight on at all. Because I want to be stealth. I don't want any rogue chance of a, uh, an enemy seeing me without me expecting it. If an enemy sees me without being expecting it, I'm dead, because then, you know, there's nothing you can do. You gotta make, like, a, a 0 0.5 second last-ditch run, and that's it. Also, again, scaffoldings, especially with hover drones, these scaffoldings are a death trap. I can't help but choke slightly at the flinch that your, char your character does when they fire, just like they get hit by the recoil. <laughs> like the one, uh, the one animated video by Hyper. There's one over there. The question is, where is the tape? There's one down there. One over there. Ah, this is a litter place. This is where the, uh, AI manager put all its points into. Of course, the AI manager would put all of its points into the scaffolding. Do you believe Hyper did the animations for Titanfall 2 in Call of Duty 2019? Hyper is insane. Really great animator. Some other really, really fantastic animations. Honestly, this game. This game has some incredible animations. They're just kind of... They're simple. You barely notice them. But they're excellent. They add so much. Like the... Your gun kind of trembling whenever you walk. That's really nice. Really gives like a proper sense of weight and just you're plodding around in your foot on your 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 footsteps. Is that where they are? That light is crossing over me, which is very scary because I don't know where it's coming from. Is it? Oh, it's that. Okay, there it is. Okay. Man, I'm so glad I didn't get seen by that. Cool. Can I but feel like your character should get more used to firing guns as they level up or something? That would have been a nice little, like, addition, I think. Does Call of 2019 do the Titanfall 2 thing where it remembers where you were along the reload cycle? I think it does. I think it does. Not enough games do that, honestly. 
I think the first game that did it, or the first game uh, of recent memory that did it, was one of the Battlefield games. I think it was Battlefield 4. Where you would take out the mag, swap to a different weapon, and you would still maintain the fact that your mag is gone. Are you here? Kill drones don't fuel. Didn't know Battlefield 4 did that. It might not be Battlefield 4, I might be remembering wrong. Keep trying to kill you until you make it physically impossible for them to function. The surest way to disable them completely is to destroy their batteries found in the thickest part of the base of turrets or the rear body of flying drones. Turn in GTA 5, you can put the gun away and you psychically reload. There's a small little glitch in the original Halo that does a similar thing, where if you double tap the reload button while holding your assault rifle in Halo, and then you swap to your pistol, when you pull the, um, the assault rifle back out, it'll be fully reloaded. So basically the reload does, or goes on in the back of your, uh, or behind you. Not literally, you know what I mean. Like the reload goes on in the, in the process, but it doesn't actually play out the animation. I think it also still worked in multiplayer, so I think you can still do it in, like, the MCC and, and stuff like that. But yeah, honestly, more games that uh, would do the segmented reload thing would be really nice. It's probably a lot more complicated than, uh, than it sounds, though. Especially when you factor in, like, netcode and stuff like that. Did I miss it? Oh. No, it's not it. Okay. I swear, these are specifically designed to make you think they're types on occasion. Ooh. Full chamber cycle every time. Long something like Armor 3 does reloads like Counter Strike. Oof. Constantly present oh, we won. Media. Pressing well, in on slow. our consciousness. Events are often also outside of our control. Outside of our control. Actually, but this practice. Outside of control. Others use these concepts and events to create this anxiety. Thoughts oh. flow in a sequence, and by inserting harmful we media into your life, your thoughts can be hijacked. Once you are behaving in a reactive Let me take a state, drink. you will spread these contaminated ideas to others allowing them to degrade more people. Practice basic media safety. You know about the breach loading in this game? The information breach loading? Act, don't react. As in like a breach loading pistol? Or you can put in a, um, a bullet into the chamber without a magazine. Yeah, the ladder. I, I think I maybe did previously, because I remember something like that. But I don't remember ever doing it. Far Cry 5 and Receiver, the only games with cults that may have a may have a point. Also, something I noticed, we died on the last level. We didn't go back. Did they update it because of the um, criticisms people had? Because I remember you always went back whenever you died. So we didn't go back that time. Do you get like a buffer? Where it's like, if you die once, you're fine. Because I thought that would have been, like, the best way to solve it. You do still go back when you die. Oh, no, you just don't go back to the first. Do you? Because we're on the... Oh. Okay. Oh, the first one is the tutorial level. I forgot. Yeah. My bad. Is this loaded? No, okay. Fully loaded mag. Pop that in. Chamber. Check. Done. Still does derank you when you exit the game. Does it derank you when you exit the game, though? <clears throat> It'll cause double feeds unless you tap check. Oh, yeah. That's... Doesn't do that anymore, no. I think that's how I remember it. Um... So, 
How do you <clears throat> breach load? I do remember trying to purposely recreate it. Do we have to check the... Ch do we, oh, do we have to chamber check? And then? No, that wouldn't make sense. Oh, I know. There you go. There we go. That's what you do. Yeah. I forgot you had to hold it open first. And that's how you get breach loading. Cool. So you get one extra in the chamber. Yeah, I do remember that's that's how you initiate a double feed. I was practicing that in the training range in the third stream I did of this. Because right now I might double feed and tap them cheeks. So I might double feed right now. Uh, next. Tap the gun for good luck. That looked bad. I keep doing it. I'll catch eventually. There we go. Okay. Thank you very much. I didn't actually notice that. I wouldn't have noticed that. Took a lot of tries. Yeah, that, that was, I was almost convinced it wasn't even going to work. So long. Let's say the lighting had to reload whenever we went in this room. Shake pistol go burr. Tap the pistol for good luck. Not even any enemies in here, huh? Has this been recently added? Because I'm hearing a lot of ambient sounds now. Well, enough, it adds to your malfunctions clear counter every time you do that. Huh. But I'm hearing a lot of, like, shuffling around, like, people, like, vaguely walking. And at first I thought that was added in this update. Because I don't remember that. Just to add a little bit of creepy factor. But it might have been in the, uh, in the original version. Oh, it's not even looking at me. Okay. Whew. The um, the tape that tells you how to how to destroy them, it's like the only tape I don't follow, is what I've noticed. I always go for the lights, and just leave them as is. This game has some funny achievements. My strategy is generally to go for the ammo boxes. But it depends. I almost always, as in basically every single time, go for the lights. Because as long as they can't see me, they can't shoot me. I do know that's partially not true because they can't hear you and they will like blindly shoot if they know you're there. But generally speaking, whenever I'm walking past them, I'm always walking. No, I'm, I'm always crouching anyway. Turns with the uh, with audio sensors, of course. Oh yeah, these get upgraded. When discharging a firearm, we learn to control our most basic autonomic reactions. To blink or flinch risks missing the target, resulting in death. With you can jump up and down in front of that dude and you'll be fine. Muscles, they don't have audio sensors. Or relax. We train our focus. No. Oh. We breathe in. We check the breach. We breathe out. We release the safety. Just bullying him at this point. We breathe in. We aim at the target. We slowly exhale while we squeeze the trigger. Since we are already prepared to operate the firearm, we neither anticipate or react to the sound or the recoil. Instead, we breathe in and aim at the target. 
There's another one. Exhale. Just the reflections are mmm in this game. Oh yeah, they're fantastic. Where's that other one? I think it's in the corner. Yep. I honestly completely assumed that they heard you. I think maybe the lighter ones do. Do they? Oh. We didn't chamber. Chambered. Oh, I should have I should have tap racked. Oh, you can hack them, I forgot. I completely forgot about that. What a cool little mechanic, I forgot. <laughs> Nothing ever hears you, but I admire your caution. Yeah, I always assumed they did, so I just kind of crawled past them. Not to mention, you should probably never really be standing up anyway. So it just, it just helps, you know? Assume the worst. Assume they can hear you. Now, what I'm worried about the most is I saw a light up there, which means there's probably something up here. And if it's going over the balcony, it might be a hover drone. We're in trouble. Not in trouble. Perfectly fine. After a while of enemies with uh, with audio sensors, you'll, they'll add one. That'll be a, like a bonfire monster in Dark Souls. What a fantastic enemy. Honestly, I get really, really afraid of it, primarily when it's not on my screen. Yeah, I tried to tell you. I tried to, to get support. I did everything they said I should, and it didn't work. Okay. It didn't. We're good. Work. We're okay. This, this is all your fault, all of you. I hope you all finally understand what you did to me, and hate yourselves for it. See you in hell. RG. We're fine. We are perfectly fine. Jack Rhino could be the cool guy to catch it. I was trying to do that earlier. I think I was pressing the wrong key. I was trying to do it with the revolver specifically. Okay. Let's uh, load one in the chamber. Load a mag in. Check. And we're good. The shakes while aims an unloaded gun at himself. Dude, the, uh, the terror types? Oh my god. The first time I experienced those, dude, that was crazy. I was so scared. As in, not even like scared scared, you know like the type of just like unsure, afraid. It was so just tense. Oh, double feed. Not double feed, uh, just a caught round. Stovepipe, that's it. Solved by the usual tap rack. Oh. Mm -mm, the cult is reliable. The cult. <laughs> Honestly, this game is just, like, really zen, if you know what I mean. You just get really into it. That was a premature shot. I shouldn't have done that. Actually, did we get him? No, we didn't get him. Okay. I unfortunately was spoiled the first time, uh... I noticed, or um, the first time I got a tarot type. 
Someone, like, literally 10 minutes before I got my first one, uh, someone was like, hey, have you ran into a terror tape yet? And I was like, a terror tape? What are you on about? And I'm like, yeah, like a terror tape. And I'm like, oh, if you haven't seen one yet, I'm not going to say anything. And I was like, and he was like, just remember to unload your gun. I was like, okay. So, um, I did get one like 10 minutes later. And man, I was shaking like crazy. I was so scared. Like, not again, not in like the traditional trend, uh, traditional sense. It was just uncertain. Nervous. They force your character to pull the trigger. Yeah. If you, um, they, they go through all the actions possible to make the gun active. So, or live in quotation marks. By, like, they, they turn off the safety, they rack the slide, they aim at you, they pull the trigger. Which means you have to have no bullet in the chamber, no mag. Because otherwise you will get donked. Ooh. That's wild, dude. Pfft. I was about to say we should run, but there's also one coming through this here. Which means we can't. Too dangerous, too risky. Wow, that's. Oh my god, that sucks. Uh, I say we maybe try and clear from the window. Any way to recognize what a terror tape is? You just have to guess. Not in like like an actual like 50 50 dice roll. Uh, the contents of the tape are what matters. If the. Um, the tape normally go like the tapes are normally informative and very joyful, kind of like maybe narcissistic a bit. But if they sound like genuinely depressed and just like angry or or just horrible, that's when you gotta. Is my bullet getting eaten by the window? I'm willing to spend bullets here. I'm fine with that. Yeah, it's just like if the tape is is bad, has bad contents. That's when you do it. Those poor souls that had to learn what the terror tape is by themselves. I'm almost glad that I got told, not because I uh, I'm glad it didn't kill me. I actually wouldn't have minded if it killed me. But I'm glad I got told because it really got it let me it prepped me for it. You know what I mean? I got, uh, I didn't know what to expect, so I got much more nervous. This is a really awkward turret, by the way. Like, 70% of his rotation, uh, I'm visible to him. Hmm. So can you unload your mag, I'm assuming? You, I think, yeah, you think you, yeah, you can unload your mag. But you don't have to unload your mag for terror types. All you have to do is remove your mag. I think I said unload. I think I meant to say unload your firearm. But yeah, you don't have to actually unload the full mag. All you need to do is take it out, rack it, and you should be good. And, you know, that's how, that's how you would do it. But you had to strip all your mags of your bullets. Would have been neat. Maybe on like the, like the later rounds, your character would put in a mag or something. Stalker boy might spawn. He always spawns late, is what I'm noticing. Like, you'll, you'll wait for a little bit, and then, like, a few seconds later, he'll suddenly spawn. And you're like, oh, I thought it was clear. Maybe it's random time. I like the stalker, but shouldn't it be more uncommon? Um, he only appears if you shoot pumpkins. 
So as in if you actively shoot pumpkins, so you basically have to shoot all of them, you see? It's more like an optional enemy you opt into. Like, you know, it's you have to actually go out of re your way to, uh, to see him. This is a, uh, a, a drone. Which sucks. I would say you're probably only going to encounter the stalker once every level. Because you have to destroy like four or five pumpkins. It kind of sucks considering pumpkins are free bullets. That's, that's the trade-off, I'm guessing. Or that they designed. We're like, do you want free bullets? Well, you might have to consume one of them to uh, beat this bastard. What does that say? All activity monitored on video cameras. Oh, there it is. To progress in mind tech is to become aware. Unless you kill him the secret way. Eventually, each the thought secret. will become clear and distinct. Solid, incredibly dense, but irregularly shaped. When combined with other specific thoughts in the right pattern, they will fit into place. The help note sort of hints at it. Of defense. Actually, let's keep her gun out and let's put it on safe while I read the notes. Just in case I accidentally press tab. So, this note hints at a secret way to kill him. <clears throat> Once it's done, so it will teleport right next to its intended victim. In traditional ways, that's it, isn't it? Stalking enemy can be harmed in traditional ways. It doesn't specify that you shoot him. It specifies, like, traditional ways. That's the hint. Can be harmed in traditional ways. Is it getting another enemy to kill him? Where, like, you see him go red, you run in front of an enemy. Last shards kill, so that might be it. That's a bit iffy because he always goes in front of you. So, like, you would pretty much have to be standing right next to a window. Maybe. Because if you're standing right in front of a window, surely he spawns inside of it. You shoot the glass, the glass kills him. Maybe. I'm just trying to think of ways that would hurt me that would hurt him. And, I, like, it's either, like, running in front of an enemy to kill him. So, like, he goes red, you run in front of a turret. Or... Do you want a slightly bigger hint? I think I would like a slightly bigger hint. Because I would like to see it. Or, like, I would like to do it. Hmm. Traditional ways. What's the other way you kill robots in this game? Is no fucking way? No, there's no way you do that. Dude, that's got to be so hard. No fucking way. No way, dude. Oh my god, we got to do that. I know what you're I think I know what you're talking about. Oh. Instead of going on the offense, you go on the defense. We got to try that. Dude, that's so hard though. Just to get a, like, we have to destroy five pumpkins just to get a shot at that. They're already super, it's already super difficult. Oh, man. But then he doesn't disappear, like, he just gets disabled. Oh, and you actually get to look at him. I would also, I think I want to go up to a, um... Put on your elite IT skills hat and let's do this. I'm putting on my glasses, boys. Okay. Like I said, the scaffolding is like the most dangerous area in this game. I don't know why I'm going up the stairs. I shouldn't be doing this. Trad 
additional means. That's a, that's, that's a good hint for that, actually. I probably wouldn't have guessed that because I rarely use it. I do think I want to interact with an enemy first. I think find the scaffolding. I, I think the scaffolding less dangerous than you because I run a lot. In the case of those stairs, pays it off. What is that light coming from? It looked like a drone. What was that light? I mean, it had to be a drone. It would have circled back around if it wasn't. Yeah, I think I um, left in this tower pretty weird. Catches light through walls. Okay. Hmm. What? We oh, we went backwards. Okay. That must mean the way we went over here was dangerous, and I've completely forgotten about it. Or we couldn't get through. Was that really backwards? Honestly, like... Oh, yeah, I remember this now. What? We didn't shoot at this. He's just disabled? He's just disabled? Oh, no, he's a sleeper. Right, there's sleeping ones. I forgot. Okay. I was like, I, th I, I haven't shot them yet. I completely forgot about sleepers. By the way, it's mainly this piece here that I really don't like. The, um, of the geometry. It really, it covers up too much. No, I'm not saying, like, criticism. I'm saying, like, it gets me every time. You know? Sleeper turrets? Yeah. Turrets that don't actually have a light. Like, sometimes you'll turn a corner and they'll just be standing there and you have to see them before they see you. Yeah. This piece of geometry, like, always gets me seen. I'm going at the wrong time. Oh, there's a second one. I thought that. Is he in a good spot? The hack? Because I want to try hacking. I don't remember the button, and I know that if I try and hack Mr. Stalker Man, I'm going to get got, because I'm probably going to press the wrong button. We brush our teeth Using the twice a day, but we don't do anything to clean our minds. Are our teeth more important than our minds? Unless you take active measures to resist it, the threat will continue tainting and twisting your mind to suit its purpose. To survive the mind kill, you must intentionally train your focus, your compassion, your motivation, or it will... Are our teeth more important than our minds? I forgot how to do this. I don't. I haven't forgotten. Okay, so I got it. Just needed like a, a quick refresher, you know? Didn't the most we got to mention in this game. <laughs> I'm going to assume it's going to be harder. Like, it's going to be like he's struggling against you. Well, I'm excited. I really want to try this. You kidding me? Oh, man. Man. So is being like, this is just like a, like a asking of your opinion. Is being higher up or lower down better to you? Like what, which one is better to you? Because I think for me, I like being lower down. 
Like, I like being on the bottom floor as opposed to the top floor. Situational preference. I think I'm usually always bottom because there's no guarantee. Lower doesn't make sense if you're going to stick with one. Like, I always... I feel like I'm more cover... I have more chances for cover lower down than I do up above. Do you mean crouching versus standing? Oh, no, I mean, like, like a positional. So that does make sense. Hmm. In terms of, uh, like, walking, yeah, crouch. I think crouch is just better, because it really gets you used to walking slowly and just taking every situation calmly. You're, like, higher usually to get above flying drones. That is a good point. So it's like drones versus turrets, you know? Like, which one are you more wanting to counter? Oh, there he is. Okay. So he is there. I should be covered. Not there, though. I'm also pretty iffy on this, this drone, this flying drone. I don't know where he is, but he is too active. You genuinely struggle with the drones in Receiver 1. The drones in Receiver 1 are very aggressive. I think. Like, they're, like, surprisingly more aggressive, I would say. In this game, you have, like, a little bit of time. I'm also going to go for an easy point. An easy spot. I destroyed one of his legs. The weak spots are really inconsistent. That's why I always go for the lights. The lights are consistent. Okay. Took... Uh, a few more bullets than I would have liked, but can't complain with results. Oh. He's here. Okay. We're going to hack him or die trying. G, right? Here we go. Shit. Yeah, that's 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 tough. Overshot it. I wasn't expecting it to be overshot. Oh, come on, give me the high point. Actually, no, the cold single action is pretty good. They put a tiny safe zone right next to the red. Yeah, I was expecting it to go a lot slower, which is why I, like, shot it. I was like, J go, 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 go! So I was thinking, you know, you don't have any time at all. Hardest possible hack. That is really difficult. Because, uh, one too many. What, yeah, one press too many and you're dead. I forgot how to use the, um... How do we cycle? Or, like... Yeah, I've completely forgotten how to use this weapon. You press... Tap F to ha Oh, tap F. Okay, then you... Blood out. And then you can cycle. Okay, okay. Fully loaded. Here you can shoot yourself with this in a new way. Uh, which way was it again? I know you said earlier it was, like, running. Or falling. I know, like, putting, like, a hard knock on it usually makes the pin... Oh, it's when the hammer's down. Yeah. So, basically, when the hammer is... Uh, if the hammer is unprimed over live round, even a tiny fall will make it fire. So... Don't move when it is not primed. If you like carrying it unprimed, it's good. I do. I'm usually pretty good with carrying primed weapons in this game. Since my strategy of always doing, like, a secondary action. She's either, well, on Sleepwalker or above. While the single action army can hold six rounds, you should only carry it fully loaded if you want to shoot yourself in the foot. 
Well, in this condition, any sharp rap to the back of the hammer Ooh. will send supersonic lead in whatever direction the weapon is pointed. Now, most of us don't go around rapping on hammers, but you could be riding a horse and bump it with your elbow or, or drop it on the ground or, or bump into somebody. The only way to safely carry the Colt 45 is to keep the hammer over an empty chamber. To correctly load an empty peacemaker for carry, you load one chamber, skip one, and load four more. Then pull back the hammer, double check that the chamber is empty, and lower it back down. There's a uh, story that gunfighters would store a $20 bill in this empty chamber to pay for their funeral, but I don't know, I'm skeptical. When I tried that, I just ended up with burnt confetti. <laughs> Roger a hammer that ain't modeled though. The reason you want to do this is because carrying it around with the hammer primed can damage it. It's fun to do right because anyway. Yeah, always kind of like just going with the actual required steps anyway really kind of helps. Even with really shaky aim, I managed to get that surprisingly. It's really cool that they actually put that in though. It goes me a revolver, but don't load it fully. <laughs> that is a, by the way, that is a tight hack. That is, on the stalker, that is so tight. Wow, wow, look at our ammo. I just click. Low fi chambers, then empty with the empty one visible. Hmm. So you said uh, you should do that on Sleepwalker above. As in, like, with the, um, the single action army? I honestly surprised I didn't get shot. That was luck. I got too aggressive. I mean, my final stream, honestly, I, I would also recommend checking it out. Where? What? Oh, right there. Okay. I would honestly recommend checking out the three streams I did of this before, because especially the final one, the final level took me over 50 minutes with the cold action single army, and I had no bullets for around 30 minutes of it. I had to genuinely, like, uh, stealth my way around active enemies, as in, like, several at once. And it's got some of the most butt-clenchingly nervous gameplay you'll ever see of me. It is a really good stream, and I strongly recommend it. I've got a really bad position here. Uh, I'm probably just going to try and shoot him. I shot him, but he's not dead. This is a case where you want to run towards the turret where he's not looking. Yeah, that was my other idea. But he is... I'm still in his view when he does that. I think this is the best time. Yep. Can you see me from here? No. Okay. I think we are out. Oh, I accidentally full cocked. And then you press... Which one is it? Uh... Oh, F. Nope. Wrong. Fuck. I, I completely forgot how to use this. Shh. Oh, V. Okay. Honestly, I'm happy for those tips. I am not familiar with this weapon anymore. Only rotate it one way. Put one in, one in, put one in, put one in. I'll keep it fully loaded and do my usual, which is this. It 
So I'm hoping that Wolfire don't mind me uh, saying, but they actually contacted me the other day about uh, two days ago, one one or two days ago, to tell me that this update was coming out and that they would like to see me play it. To which I obliged. I said, yeah, I would, I would love to come back in and play more of this game because it's just so cathartic to play. And again, like I said, like top three of the year by far. So honestly, big thanks to them for actually contacting me. Because I probably wouldn't have noticed this game getting an update. They posted your stream in the official Discord before you met the bot. Damn, I didn't notice. They even posted my stream in their Discord. That's... That's crazy. Massive thanks to them, for real. I am cock, yeah. Does the wolf do to clip your jump scare too? Many theories exist on Seriously, the Seriously, they're really big the thanks line. to Wolfire. I've loved their games ever since they released the first uh, receiver. I've played them all, well, most of them, and I've really loved them. I think the devs joined you earlier, judging by the we thank you as you were gushing over it. Yeah, I know. I know that, the, that a lot of the devs were in, and I'm really, really happy they actually joined and, and watched some of the stream. I've never really had that before. Some uh, developers I really love come in. Immense power and uh, you got to play test and the update. It's when to see people reacting to it. Changes the most important aspects of reality. I also should be paying attention just a little bit during these tapes, because uh, if it's a terror tape and I'm talking, I might not notice. Oh, it doesn't spawn after one. Is it, is it like a random chance, or is it like a guaranteed every five spawns him? I think it's every five, because it's the only, um, only thing I've seen. Where is this? I have no idea where he is. He met Wolfire with Overgrowth about seven years ago or something when a YouTuber covered it. Yeah, I've I've loved their games ever since the first receiver. I've played receiver for like 30, 40 hours. Like with mods, without mods, just by itself. It's I'm so glad they I was overjoyed when they were announcing that they were making a sequel. Like a full proper sequel. I have no idea where they, Oh there he is. Okay. He was huge you were huge on receiver one. I never completed receiver one. But I did play a lot of it. Because it's it was really difficult. I didn't have the same discipline I do now. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh, big shooty game with guns I can manipulate. Real fun. And I just kind of ran around and shot things. And then with Receiver 2, I actually, like, tried my hand at beating it. Ah. I'm going to go for his box. Yeah, try it. So many bullets, dude. We may as well reload. There's something I always wanted in receiver, and that was like two-handed weapons. But I know that's that's like a lot of effort. When pistols are good enough, or sidearms. Man, I'm just really surprised and really happy they they. That they actually put my stream in their Discord and that they actually, like... I'm... I'm serious. If they didn't contact me, I wouldn't have played this. Not because, you know, I wouldn't have played it, but because I just... The game gets so many small little updates, I'm usually like, ah, I'll, I'll play it when it gets something something big. You know, like a, like a DLC or a, a big update. So I would have thought this was just a normal, like, patch update. Because they didn't want to spoil anything and they didn't tell anyone about it. Didn't put any, like, patch notes for it. Just kind of, like, slight, uh, very subtly put it up. So then actually uh, telling me, give me a heads up, was super nice. 
Where is this? <sighs> Rightfully so, that sound freaks me the fuck out in this game. And if it doesn't, I think something's seriously wrong. But if you run out of ammo, you can no longer defend yourself against kill drones. However, they are predictable, and with enough focus, you can get past them without using your <sighs> firearm at all. I do know that all too well. I have to get familiar with that in the final level. The Super Room was kind of the perfect end, uh, has kind of the perfect ending. Maybe try and go back sometime. Maybe. I know there are a couple, a couple of VR mods for it. I could probably, I could maybe try it. But I don't know. I keep saying like, uh, receiver in VR really defeats the purpose of receiver. It's cool. What am I doing? I, I have so many bullets. I'm just kind of throwing it out there. I guess. Being a bit reckless. Did I miss a pumpkin? I feel like I I saw a pumpkin and didn't shoot it. But that's our goal. That our goal is to hack him. Right now. Speaking of VR, I think your screens are cable died. Oof. VR is such a f uh, a fickle. And I've had to do a lot of parkour on the side of buildings in the final level. I keep saying that because I had to just find a lot of ways to get around a problem of having no ammo. Yeah, VR is super, super fickle. Some days it works, some days it doesn't. Genuinely, like, I'll boot up my VR every now and then. And then sometimes it just doesn't work. And then you reboot it again, and then, then it suddenly does work. Only a month or so after I was talking about how reliable my VR was. Also, yet again, I actually heard footsteps in this game that weren't mine. I was standing, that's why I went back to check, because I heard footsteps. I have a feeling like they just stuffed those in in this update. Either that or I've never noticed them before. Oh. Oh, it's a stationary turret. But he has one. Hmm. Let's be safe. Go from this end. Okay. Oh, wow, this is this sucks. I just realized how much this sucks. <gasps> Get a little peek on him. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to unload. I've always been such a disappointment. I would have just kept getting more pathetic. I can't stand to be a burden on you any longer. I hope one day you can forgive me. I love you. I know, Sorry. I know, it's fine. We're fine. So many bullets, dude. Very, very stressful, and I've never had to do it with the single action army before. So just stand a loaded chamber into empty. Honestly, I just I just empty all chambers. So there's a zero percent chance that they act I actually get shot. No pumpkin? No pumpkin. I know there's a tape through here, but I'm probably not going to go for it. Where is it? There's a pumpkin. Is 
to here. Don't hear him. I don't think he spawned. There's a really subtle difference in the types. Yeah, it's it's I mean it's not like super subtle, but it's subtle enough to where if you're not paying attention you won't notice. Poof. Kinda of bad play. Just running out like that. Okay. Any pumpkins? Probably shouldn't be peering over like that. And we're just carrying a bundle around, aren't we? You do have to pay attention, though. It's, uh, if you don't, you're, you get pretty donked. I mean, I think even then, even if you're not paying attention to the tape and you're just... Like, imagine if you were playing without audio and without subtitles. You will eventually notice because your character, um... Starts... Like, you know, stuff starts happening. Your character starts moving their gun. And you have, like, a little bit of time to actually, uh, work with that. The music gives you a clue, too. Yeah, I actually did play this game at one point without any voice and without subtitles. And, like, I would, I would just run through, pick up a tape, and then move on. And, like, while I was in the middle of, of clearing the next room, you would start hearing the music pick up, and I'm like, oh, shit, that one was a terror tape. I should do something about that. Worst case scenario is you can just pew-pew the bullets out while the gun is turning. Yeah, that's the... That's, like, Plan C. Or, I guess, Plan Z. The one that you shouldn't have to do. It's just like when the when the gun starts turning, you just pile drive all those bullets out. Huge worst of ammo, but you know, better than dying. Going to do the achievements at any point? I'm probably not going to one hundred percent the achievements. I'm not a one hundred percent guy. I'm more like. Give me a challenge and I'll probably take it. Like with the whole having to hack the um the stalker dude. I'm like, yeah, let's go. Lately you've been playing with the threat aqua tapes switched off. It replaces them with the threat recovery tapes. The threat recovery tapes. Really? So there's actually different tapes if you have it on or off. I didn't know that. I thought there was just like, they just weren't in the rotation. Oh, it replaces them with the ones that tells you to listen to the full story. Love games that are extra content when you choose different settings. So again, we're looking for, he's still active by the way. No, I, I did, he's not. I shot him, okay. We're still looking for pumpkins. This is, this is a sleeper. This is not a sleeper. Let's maybe go down. Let's not get too comfortable walking around. It'll be the death of us. Not going for that. Oh, this is where we were before. We might get a different route, though. Oh, I, oh, that, remember when I said I thought there was a pumpkin I saw which I didn't, I didn't shoot. I'm pretty sure it was this dude. He's here, okay. Oh, the lights. We're in a really bad position, I can't see him. I hate when he makes no noise for like a considerable amount of time. Okay. Just move somewhere more open. To do it slower this time.
Dude, that's so cool. Dude, wow. Holy shit. Oh. Man, dude, that is that is intense. That's really difficult. Wow. Huh. I have bots a lot, so I manage okay with that hack. Yeah, it's 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 really tough to strike the balance of like not overdoing it. The margin for error is small. Yeah, it's it's a super small margin of error. I don't wanna rush, but I do wanna find pumpkins quick. Cause that's the goal. Probably pick up some tips along the way. There's one. Oh, I know that wasn't. Oh, what? Oh, it was a floppy disk. Pumpkin. Hello, pumpkins. Partially why I do wish there was just an option to turn him on, just to have him spawn randomly. So I could just kind of, you know, move around, play the game, and then he just eventually comes in. But I don't know why they didn't do that. Plus it means I actually got to work to hack him now. Got to actually... Work to have a chance. So we might not actually hack him this stream, since it is proving, I knew it was going to be difficult, but I had a feeling we could do it, but maybe not. Maybe practice on some turrets. That is true. I should probably do some practice. Maybe go full pacifist for now. Where is this? Oh. There it is. You have seen the signs around you. If you put them in the thumbnail, Imagine you're gonna put a few filters over an image of them. Decay and dysfunction. What I think I might do for the thumbnail of this vod. You have realized that something is, is wrong with the media. Put him in the thumbnail, the but like you. kind of make it so his lights you are the only thing you can you see. Different. If you know what I mean? So like it's very mysterious. Vod, you don't know you can't see it, but you know something receiver. is there. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system. For advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences Damn. from your environment. I have Once done this before, by the way, gotten up there and through there. Taken the first step towards awakening. You could cheat code your way there and try on them. The media is a threat. The armor turrets on Liminal have a kind of hack window. As part of this technique, you must listen to the Could I have cheated before in this game? As in, not when I was actually doing the the rounds. But I have cheated just to go to the shooting range and have fun and stuff like that. Oh damn it! All right, fine. I'll use a second shot. Don't think like my bullets are going anywhere else. What? Jesus. It's oh shit. Knowledge that you get better. <laughs> the game picked up the uh, the tape at the same time and slightly lagged. Some of the debug menu can't spawn the sneak bot yet. Oh, <gasps> fuck yeah. 
Dude, you know what I could do for the, um... I could do for the thumbnail? Wait, that wasn't loaded. Yeah, it's not loaded. I could do the pumpkins. Like, I could get a really good look at one of these pumpkins and just put that in the thumbnail. Your video was me summoning dozen sneak bots and trying to fight off, fight them off in the test build. Hmm. It is a shame you can't spawn him. Just to get practice. Just put an image of the meat grinder from HDVR. I will say, they actually do look a lot like some of the bots from Hot Dogs, Horseshoes, and Hand Grenades. Like the, um, the meat grinder enemies. Oh. Oh. I know they're planning on adding into the spawn enemy debug menu. That's what I was waiting for. I was trying to get him to fire one shot. For such a while, I dislike this gun. They wobble so much. Hello, Chief. I'm afraid you will be leaving this mortal coil. That was the, the easy one. That you've already basically killed the enemy anyway, so just just get it done with. Man, if only his was that easy. Poppy. Any pumpkins? Hmm. Ooh. You know what I've never actually done in this game actively? I haven't actively done, like, a, a full video game reload, as in, or, I guess, video game, real life, as in you pull out a mag, put in a new one, and I've always just, like, reloaded it, uh, my individual mags, when I'm not firing them. So like, what have you seen me been doing for the past, uh, hour or so? Just this. This is what I do. Just keep your uh, keep yourself topped off. You have seen the signs around you. The gradual. This is the same thing we had last decay one. And dysfunction. It's a game instinct to top up on everything. You realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. No. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and mm. eventually Ooh. counteract the negative influences from your environment. Once you have absorbed so let's actually tapes, try that. The first a proper reload. We'll use the entire mag and we will only reload when we are empty. The media is a threat. We have a technique to help. We use tapes as part of this technique. We can get closer. You must listen to them to advance. This building, this, oh, this place, it doesn't make much sense. Like, well, while I know this isn't the same room as before, it. This, I, I think I thought this was a terror tape before, and it's not. It's. More like a yeah, it's not. fictional place than the real world. It's oh, it's like someone made copies of, of copies and lost the original intent of all the objects uh, long ago. Probably a more accurate way of determining it. He's here. He's here. He's here. He's here. Don't die now. It's fine. I just gotta have a good trigger finger.
I don't. I think he's gonna activate before I can see him. Actually, move around. Because he stops me from moving. Oh, yeah. Maybe only, uh... He's, yeah, he's maybe waiting for me to move. There we go. Close. Getting closer. We're a lot closer there. You have to basically be in that, that range for maybe like 70% of the time. So we'll have to run out of time on that too. Yeah. That's what I was I was just saying. Like you have to basically be in it for 70% of the time. If you're not, he's probably gonna kill you anyway. But that, that, that seems doable uh, for me. So funny how he shakes his head like, no. Where's that tape? There you are. You have seen the signs. <sighs> is this the? Oh, this is the first tape every time, isn't it? Creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. Woo! <laughs> this is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series Easy. of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight by continually listening to these tapes you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment once you have absorbed these tapes you will have taken the first step towards Ooh. awakening your true self didn't only heard him didn't see him the media is a threat we have a technique to help we use tapes as part of this technique you must well that I took damage from that wow advance. while some concepts are useful others are the exact opposite so funny how he shakes his head like no terminating thoughts the the main character useful ideas and turn them into or the uh, no the the bot that stalker is as incorrect as it is useless the appeal of these thoughts is that they give a the bot while you're hacking of certainty and authority but they block true mental development the functional mind questions others. it looks inward at the form of ideas applied in the mind as well what is that? as outward in the world just bullets so he is the twin sibling of curiosity the dead mind man is we're constructed of terminating <laughs> thoughts just there is no room for getting tapes really easy now thin fragile mockery of self satisfaction Oh no way. <laughs> Personality is replaced with rote, checkbox ticking behavior and reactivity. We're going to win before the second day finishes. Grotesque parody where anything that doesn't fall neatly into a simplistic taxonomy of behavior gets ignored or assaulted. This causes a person to become less and less until ultimately they vanish. The rivalry between Colt and Smith and Wesson mm. is as old as time itself. Also, there are like no enemies here. The universe was created in 1852. 
Now, Wesson was largely unknown at the time and still reeling from his brother's sudden death and the seizure of their gunsmithing tools Damn. by predators. Did they just not spawn any enemies? With Daniel Levitt to carefully work around Colt's patents to create a slightly different revolver based on his brother's ideas and had started to successfully rebuild his business when Sam Colt sensed a threat to his monopoly and hmm. drove Weston back to bankruptcy with lawsuits and, and legal fees. Well, there's a few. But when Colt's patent ran out, Wesson came back with a vengeance. And the Smith and Wesson versus Colt revolver debate Ooh. continues to this day. Even though the modern differences consist of whether the cylinder rotates clockwise or counterclockwise and whether the cylinder release should be pulled or pushed. And ultimately, it comes down to personal preference and how they feel in the individual's hand. Here we go. When explorers die of dehydration, their water bottles are usually not... Go on, Shiman, the gunslinger. They were saving their resources for later when it got really Is bad. he here? When the threat kills people by suicide, it usually Your favorite pumpkin? they never ask their family or, or friends for help. They were saving that for later. In the dumpster, yeah. Really bad. Where it belongs. If you are under attack by the threat, ask for help now. There is no later. Oh no, I got hit. Ah, oh, damn it. Danny DeVito. Dude, Beretta. That's a shame. We were probably like one, uh, one thing away. Getting too reckless. There's not a way to spawn the enemy. Is there a way to spawn pumpkins? Or like get, I mean, I guess I could put on like God mode and just go around with pumpkins. But that's, where's the fun in that? What's the point of fighting them if you don't get there legitimately? You know? That's a pretty interesting spot. Yo! Okay. He's here. So it's random. No, is it is it tied to every um so often? Like does the, the number continue? Yeah. It's random. That was just one. What he's waiting for me to move. Hello. Come on, attack me. Do it, kill me. This is the one I feel it. Mmm. My hands are shaky, I'm not sure. Oh! Damn, I did so well! Oh, man, it's close! It's just, um, once once it gets out of control, that's when it, that you know, it, it goes. You try and you're like, oh, I got to overcorrect. And then you overcorrect and you just you screw it up. We're on semi. Yep. Damn. We're really close, though. That was closer than the last, for sure. We were in that for a long time. Oof. Man, we're so close. How can I stop? I think that round was still in your mag, not the chamber. Oh, right. Yep, you're correct. I didn't check. I didn't uh, check that uh, it was actually loaded. The power of rushing and not giving a shit. Nah. There we go. So, if it is 100% random, 
It's probably like a percentage chance for like, you know, like a 10% chance on the first one. Always helps have more people's eyes with your eyes. Within your eyes. Two heads are better than one. You know something I haven't- I, I just noticed? The light occlusion in this game is excellent. Like, looking in from there, pitch blackness. Going in, instantly, you can see. The games that always do that best make it 100% unnoticeable. Like I said, just a small little detail I really like. You have seen the sign. Oh, I should stop picking you. up the first type. The gradual. I keep forgetting. It's just the um, it's the introduction tape, because we keep dying to Spiky Man. That something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been a series of audio cassettes. Nice shot. Part of our system for advancing. Inside. Hey, let me in. By continually listening to these, you will drown and eventually counteract Jesus. the negative <laughs> Man, Russian real environment. Almost gets you killed, apparently. Once you have absorbed the you will have taken the first step towards awakening your true self. The media is a, wow, that's a lot of bullets. Oh, that's, also, oh, uh, that's a uh, thing these I just read. As part of this I thought I saw in a message. You must listen to them to advance. Pumpkin? Pumpkin? Any pumps? I do wonder what the chance for him to spawn on the first pumpkin is. Because I'm guessing at this point it's just a percentage chance that ramps up the more you destroy. Because five pumpkins feels more like, like an 80% chance. While like three feels like a 50. Or like a 30. Or I guess 40 more. Appropriately, appropriately if you were going by scaling. I was about to say, this place is ripe for a pumpkin. Still not here. I think. He could, like, creep up, though. There's gonna be no hover drones, which is the good part. Man, I'm getting real impatient. Okay. Another tape somewhere here. Cooper's second rule of gun safety is to never point the gun at something you are not willing to destroy. Now this seems obvious, but is easy to forget in the moment. If you are training at the range and a burning hot shell casing falls down your shirt, are you prepared to keep the gun pointed at the target? Uh, if the gun malfunctions, are you sure you won't point it sideways to get a better look at what's wrong? Uh, what if you were preparing to take it apart for a routine maintenance? Are you still mm. paying attention to which way the barrel is pointing? Many accidents take place while cleaning guns, because that's often when we let our guard down. Man. God, these tapes are so good. Give me that. Many people believe that the brain is the seat of consciousness, Yet, important thoughts and feelings are carried out in ganglia, clusters of neurons found throughout the body. The mind Is he here? stretches within the body and controls it. Conditions in the body reflect the mind, and damage to the Doesn't body sound like it. is damage to the mind as well. Oof. Who takes apart a loaded gun? 
Honestly, you'd probably be surprised. Sometimes people just forget they're loaded. Your brain just forgets. Shit happens. I'm not saying that. What? Get fucked! Yeah! He tried to sneak attack me, dude. Oh, let me get a good look at him. Whew. Damn, dude. How did so good on this? He's so creepy, dude. Like just this um, small little piece in his head. It looks so good. As in, like, it's it adds so much to the creepy factor of just like an unrecognizable shape. Man. There's so many eyes as well. Whew. I can't believe we got him. That's crazy. I'm honestly more surprised he, like, sneak attacked me, dude. I destroyed the last pumpkin, like, a solid 30, 40 seconds ago, and he didn't even make any sound. And then him, him suddenly, like, the first time he appeared, he immediately goes into attack mode? Honestly astonished I got that. Whew, damn. I think you honestly needed him to have a, uh, have a jump on you. Yeah, I think that's the part you really need to get put in the moment. Where, being prepared for it, you're probably going to screw it up because your nerves are going to get the better of you. But him immediately jumping me and then, like, me having to immediately switch to, to like, hack mode, just kind of, like, laser focused in. And, like, you, like, I tunnel visioned in. Because, you know, you, you have to make it automatic. If you, if it's not automatic, you, you, you're probably going to screw it up. That's what I was doing in the previous versions, where I was kind of like, it wasn't automatic, I just kind of had to... I had to try. But in that time, I just pressed the button, steady pace. When I start screwing up, don't worry about it, get it back in place. And it worked. It's one of those things you really need to do with practice. Just try, try, try again. I actually think that's like, the this is the cooler version of getting him, in my opinion. This is like the true way. Where like, if you want to beat him, this is what you do. If you want to get rid of him, you shoot him. But if you want to beat him, you got to hack him. Because like, then you get rewarded with actually getting to see him proper in like, unstressful lights. Man. Dude, what a, what a small little update that adds so much. I got two hours out of this game, two, uh, two more hours. And it's so much fun. The hell is that vision module? It really reminds me of like the um the sausage the uh the robotic sausages from Meat Grinder, where the way they have those circular eyes strewn across their body. That's what really kind of reminds me of that right there. He honestly looks like one of them like sci-fi drills. That's what I thought he was. And you can still destroy him if you want him. If you want to. Whew. I don't know what to do. Uh, not shoot myself in the leg. That's what I should not do. Full auto in this game is so impractical. But I'm so glad it's there. How do you manage to shoot yourself? So in this game, unlike in Receiver 1, if you um, you shoot yourself by... Also, the slide goes down automatically when you put a new mag in. But if you don't hold... Like you can see in the... You probably can't read it. But in top right it says holster weapon and slow holster weapon. 
If you holster weapon, there's a chance the gun will fire and you'll negligent, negligent discharge straight into your leg. Which is how I got shot there. But if you slow, you always... You'll never actually negligent discharge. Which is why I said I was stating my tips earlier, where in order to holster the gun, my strat is to always just do the next action before I unhold tab. So whenever I'm about to put in new bullets, hold tab, start putting in bullets, untab, hold tab, put in mag, done. So you always slow holster when you do the next action before you unpress. Which is super useful. That's how I that's how I got used to it. But damn we got him, dude. We actually managed to get him. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't believe it didn't get hit. Oh, did I, I, that was a malfunction. Dude, eventually your updates meet grinder, crossover would be epic. Honestly, I actually think if Anton wanted to do another horror mode, those enemies would be a very cool crossover if he had the chance or if he wanted to. Because ultimately what Anton does with hot dogs, horses and hand grenades is up to him. And if the receiver dudes were up for it. But I think that would be really cool. When explorers die of dehydration. Thanks for the stream, it was fun. I'm gonna take off. Sure, I'm probably gonna end it here. Cause uh we already beat the game, we don't need to beat it again. But we got him. We completed the uh what we were set out to do, which is kill him, hack him. Hundred percent that hundred percent sure that Wolfar would be very cool with it. So, like, honestly, really big thanks to Wolfhard Games for just coming in into the stream. And, like, just talking with me, and... Honestly, thanks to them for telling me about this update as well. Just... Again, I wouldn't have played it if they hadn't told me, and I'm so glad I did, because this update is excellent. It's such a nice little... cool revisit to the game that you can play and just have fun with, and... a nice challenge as well, that isn't beating the game. But yeah, uh, so I do think I'm done for now. Do the, does the stats, the stats are only for this, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, no, it says total time played. Only four hours. Hey, look, <laughs> wins. So there, there's the, the counter if you want to see that I did win once. Secret nodes, suicides. I've killed myself twice, apparently. Failure to feed, double feed, stove pipes, more functions cleared, 137. Enemies destroyed. I haven't destroyed any cameras. I rarely destroy drones. Really? Oh, I guess destroyed maybe doesn't count as, like, destroying their light. Potentially. Oh, well. Thanks for Wolfar for joining in the stream and, and popping in. Some of the devs coming in. It was a real great pleasure to play this again. I love this game. It's so good. Easily, like, top three, third place of, of the year so far. Maybe second, maybe first, because I don't know what else I would put in that list. Right now, it's just receiver for, like, best games of the year. It's such an excellent game. And this is, like, the cherry on top, where I get to play it a few months later with... Oof. I love it. I love this game, dude. Monster Hunter World? Uh, I, I, don't, I wouldn't put Monster Hunter World in my, like, top of the year because Monster Hunter World came out two years ago. In 2018. So, this is, this is all it is for this year. But I'm so glad I get to play this game again a few months later. And what a great update. Uh, so... Uh, I should be streaming again in a few hours, maybe? Like, oh, maybe soon. Maybe, maybe soon, soon. I'm not sure. But, uh, I'll see you later, hopefully. Thanks for watching, and, um, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.